気持ちになるとか、うん、ハロースモープライムタイム Konnichiwa and welcome to Sumo Prime Time. I'm Hiro Morita. The May tournament gets underway in about a week, so for today, we'll feature some Rikishi you might want to keep your eye on in the upcoming contest. But before we get to those combatants, how about we offer some general knowledge of Sumo for novice fans? Grand Sumo tournaments are held six times a year. The combatants compete for 15 days. The Rikishi with most victories at the end of 15 days is the champion and receives the Empress Cup. Three out of six tournaments are held in Kokugikan, the home of sumo in Tokyo. It will be the venue for the upcoming May tournament. Sumo's spiritual home is Ryogoku on the east side of Tokyo. The Ryogoku district is known as Sumo Town. Throughout the city, you will find shops selling sumo related items. Also, there are shops where Rikishi often go. To buy their large clothes. 8L? I mean, it's not extra large. Not, it's not ex, extra, extra large. It's 8 large. <laughs> And of course, you can find many restaurants serving Rikishi's main daily meal, Chanko Nade Hot Pot Stew. Please check out the show of me and Tomozuna Oyakata visiting Ryogoku and introducing what to do and where to go when you come to the city. Oh, I'm alright, alright, without further ado, let's move on to the introduction of two Rikishi, two legitimate combatants whom we think will make big splash in the upcoming May tournament. Hello, I'm Shodai. First, here is Shodai. The 31 year old veteran is one of the most powerful、yeah, Rikishi. Oh! <laughs> Shodai's MO is overwhelming his opponent from the jump. His relentless forward charge is very hard to stop. In the March tournament, Shodai defeated the eventual champion Kiribayama in a real hard fought battle to finish the contest with 10 wins. After winning the college Yokozuna title in 2011, Shodai turned pro in 2014. It took him only two years to break into the top Makuchi division. And in the 2020 September tournament, Shodai captured his first top division championship with a record of 13 wins and two losses. After the championship, he received a promotion to the second highest rank of Ozeki. But injuries and lackluster performances prevented him from staying at Ozeki for long. Shodai will be competing at the fourth highest rank of Komusubi in the May tournament and is hoping to make a statement with an eye over returning to Ozeki. In the near future. 
そうですねまあ勝ち越しから結構遠のいってましたし結構うんちょ悪い流れがずっと重なってたかなとは思ってたんでここで一旦その悪い流れをこう断ち切れたっていうのがまず良かったのかなと思いますはいこれ,これはいいぞっていうなんか例えば攻めの点とかそういったところなんかありますでしょうか立ち合いから、まあ、その立ち合いの勢いをで、まあ、前に出ると結構こうあの内容も良かったんでうんそれが、まあ、続けられたっていうのが15日間続けられたっていうのが良かったんじゃないかな、まあ、ちょっとこう大関時代は本当自分が自分じゃなかったような本当大関をやらなくちゃいけないっていう気持ちばっかりで。自分,の自分自身のやりたいことっていうのはできてなかったんで今は、まあ、大関から落ちて、まあ、それこそ先場所を自分がじあの取りたい相撲が取れたんじゃないかなと思うんで三役に残っていたら、まあ、チャンスも多分巡ってくると思うんで、はい、そのためには、まあ、まず三役に定着したいなとは思ってますこの海外の人たちに生で大相撲を見てどんなことを感じ取ってほしいですか立ち合いの迫力とこうその1秒2秒で勝負がつくじゃないですかその,その中の,その一瞬なんですけどその中にこう技術だとか力強さっていうのがあると思うんでそこを見ていただけたらいいなと思います。Yes, after speaking with Shodai, I felt his confidence oozing from his body. And he scored an impressive 10 wins in March. And the fact that he was able to you know, win those 10 matches by doing his brand of sumo was huge. And I think he has regained his confidence. Now, if he can put together a couple more double digit winning performances, who knows? We might see him back at Ozeki again by this fall. The key to his success in the upcoming contest will be to get off to an electric start. If he can go 5 0 or 4 1 in the first five days, look out. If that's the case, I think Shodai will be in the mix for the championship throughout the competition and maybe we'll see him walk away with his second Empress Cup. So keep your eye on Shodai, especially in the first week during the first few days, because how he does early in the tournament will determine, probably determine his entire performance in the May Basho. Hello, I'm Daesho. Chugak Jidai wa Engabe, Saitama Ken Shushin, Oite Kadebea, Sekiwake, Daesho. 第8章 is a multi talented man. As a professional wikishi, he enrolled in graduate school to increase his knowledge in other fields. Once he steps into the ring, Dai Shou is totally focused on doing just one thing plow ahead with his high octane offense. Not many wikishi can stop his all guns blazing to putty thrusting attack. Daesho turned pro in 2012. He was a hard pusher thruster from the beginning. He steadily climbed the ranks and made the top division in 2015. On the final day of the 2021 January tournament, <laughs> Daesho convincingly won the match to clinch his first championship. <laughs> And in the last tournament in March, Daesho entered day 15 with a chance to capture his second title.
but the day belonged to Kiriba Yama, as Daesho got beat not just once but twice by the eventual champion. With the two losses on the final day, Daesho left Osaka empty handed. Daesho says the fact that he failed to close the deal in March was a huge disappointment, but that's all behind him now, and says he's ready to challenge for the Empress Cup again this month and hopes to come out on top this time. So, this is probably, well, I don't know, 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 ま、本当ただ悔しいっていう気持ちしか残らなかったですね。はい。逆に勉強にもなっていい方になったんじゃないでしょうか。いかがですか。そうですね。やっぱりあのま負けて覚える相撲でもあると思うんで、やっぱり